guys so this is another um, conch update it's only been I thought it was two months but it's only been like a month and a half um, I switched the jewelry to another glass plug um, because I had lost the backing to the other one and I was tired of it not being noticeable so I know it's unorthodox and a bad thing too well not always a bad thing but usually to switch it early, earlier than four months, but I cleaned it with um, soap and water and soaked it in alcohol for a while and then um, I dried it off, rinsed it off in distilled water. And then I sprayed it with sea salt solution and cleaned my ear before I put it in. And I got some plugs to match, but I really love it. Um, my ear is actually doing really good. I don't know if I can, I don't have another mirror to see if I'm actually showing you the back part of the hole. Um, maybe if I turn this way there's more light. Um, I'm just hoping that it's showing you. Um, my ear is like not even puffy or anything anymore. Um, it's having like a good moment I guess. And uh, yeah, like I said, everyone's different, and um, on a scale of 1 to 10, it being a punch and everything, it was like really freaking out, and my hands are clean, I, I washed them, and I just did this, like, just like, I don't know, a couple minutes ago. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, it was like a 4, and the healing was probably a little bit more tender than that, but it it's still healing now, but um, after, like, I guess the the three days after were the, the worst days and then it was fine um, but I do sea salt soak it like once a day like hardcore I'll take out the jewelry and soak it and the water like swish back and forth in the hole and then clean the jewelry really good and put that back in um, well maybe not hardcore once a day but once a day I'll sea salt soak it and I'll spray it a lot and clean it with q-tips and like get the q-tip wet with the C H2 Ocean spray and um, do that a lot but I do soak it in really hot sea salt water and that usually helps with like the inflammation and cleaning it and stuff um, really opens it up you know so that's been helping and then the neck pillow that I sleep with really helps too um, in a year, I'm not going to stretch it, I'm going to keep it at this size, but in a year, when this one's healed, hopefully, I will get this side done at like a 2 or a 4, and then I'll get like a little flat too. I really want to get my tragus done with the punch or an O needle. Um, ever since I saw Pangea piercings video on that, I realized why my tragus on this side never healed and why there's so much scar tissue is because it got pierced with a tribevel needle and basically when you pierce through cartilage in such a small area um, with a needle like that the tissue from the outside goes in the inside and gets pushed through the back of the hole that it makes and uh, fluids get locked in and all the extra all the actually the other cartilage that was in that area gets pushed to all all the sides and there's it's, the piercing is being suffocated and there's a lot of swelling and um, that's why mine never really healed so I really am hoping to find a piercer that will um, do a very small punch or use an O an O needle on that and um, I know it's permanent the cartilage is permanently permanently removed but I would rather have that little tiny hole that's not even going to be really big um, permanent in there and if I take it out it's going to be a tiny dot um, than have an infected rejecting piercing. I mean I think that's going to go a lot better. I mean this one is going great and the other cartilage piercing I had was terrible so anyways that's my update on my conch. It's doing really well. It's not even red anymore see it's, yeah it's it's healthy I gotta go guys I'll talk to you later